Hey, welcome to my channel. Okay, so um, today I'm going to show you how I contour, highlight, conceal. Um, yeah, that's about it. And uh, if you're interested, then stay tuned. Hey! Okay, so the first thing you want to start off with is a good moisturizer, um, a good SPF moisturizer. And I tried out this Polish Choice at, uh, 30 SPF uh, Moisture Boost, and I really like it. I ordered it online, so I should be getting in the mail in the next week. So I'll tell you how it goes. I ordered a whole bunch of things from her website, and I am super excited. So important to wear SPF during the daytime, um, even in the winter. So um, I started to pick up on that habit. Okay, a little too, too much. I may look a little white, and it's because of the SPF and the camera. It usually reflects white, so um, if I do, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is my brows. Um, I take an angled brush and I just fill it in. I do have a tutorial on that, so if you guys want, you can check it out. I quickly finished up my brows. Um, they're a bit messy, but uh, it's fine. I'll deal with it later. Um, I recently came back from London, and it was an eight-hour flight. And my skin tends to break out when it's super long flights, so I have a lot of blemishes that I don't even want to deal with, but just excuse excuse my skin. Um, so after I do my brows, I take Fix Plus and I spray it all over my face. Okay, and I let that settle. And then I go in with um, MAC Peppin Prime in the color um, Highlighter Peach Luster. And I have dark circles and darkness around my mouth, um, which is genetics. So I go in with this and I basically go into the dark areas of my face. I look very scary, but you know, it works. It does a trick. Now that I look like a part of the Lion King musical, I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and blend that out. Okay, great, that will do. I go back with my uh, Fix Plus and I spray my beauty blender down. And then I take my foundation of choice. I'll be wearing NARS um, Barcelona Sheer Glow. And use the back of my hand. Oops, that's a lot. It's not hygienic, but it's fine. Okay, and take my beauty blender and basically apply it onto my face. So I like to go from under my eyes and then outwards. Okay, so I applied, um, oh, I almost got makeup on my shirt. <laughs> I applied my thin layer of foundation onto my skin and I blended it out with the beauty blender. Next, I'm going to go in with my concealer, which is NC42 um, Studio Finish Matte Concealer. And I just melt it in with my finger and kind of dab it onto my under eye. And the reason why I use my finger is because it melts the product into my skin. Um, especially with this product, it's very, it's, it's creamy, but it's also hard to really blend out with a brush. You need to kind of heat it up with your fingers and melt it into your skin. And after you work it into your under eyes, you can go to other areas. I like this color because it's kind of a peachy undertone. So I go into the dark areas of my, my basically my problem areas are my dark circles and around my mouth. Um, so I like to brighten that up. And then I go back with my beauty blender and just blend that out onto my skin. Okay, next I take my banana powder and I put it into something like this just so I have a thick surface. And I'm very generous with it because um, this under eye concealer tends to crease a lot. And then I go in with my um, powder um, brush and work it in and then push it onto my skin. The reason why um, I like to be generous with my banana powder is because it's kind of translucent so it doesn't really add coverage. It doesn't add coverage at all. And it um, helps with my T-zone area and it 
you know, once I set my makeup properly, I know that it's gonna last all day. My foundation and my concealer is done. I set my skin with banana powder and now I want to contour. What I use for contouring is an eyeshadow. It's an eyeshadow called Corduroy by MAC. And it's fairly dark. It's pretty dark. But um, I, I like this because I like a strong um, contour with my cheeks. And um, I just blend it out. And then I go over it with an other product. So I don't fully use too much of this, but I use enough to add a shadow onto my um, cheekbones, under my cheekbones and around my face. First thing I do is go in, tap off the extra. So, and work it in to my cheek. Now, the brush I use, sorry, is a Sephora Pro Precision, push, damn it. Pro Precision Brush. There you go. So, it's fairly um, thick because it's, it's fairly heavy because it's um, an eyeshadow, obviously. So, um, I tend to blend it out as much as I can and slowly build. What you want to do is cast a shadow. So, what you want to do essentially is start from your hairline where your sideburns begin and kind of work to the corner of your mouth so at an angle like that and you shadow right there and also another trick is obviously sucking in your, uh, your cheeks that's what a lot of people use and just following beneath that um, concave that line that you begin to see but you don't want to go too further in I kind of stop where my pupil begins right there This is one cheek con uh, contoured, and then this is the other cheek that's not contoured. Um, in all fairness, this cheek is more defined, this cheekbone is more defined than this cheekbone, so it doesn't make that big of a difference, but yeah. And then I go in with the same product lightly and go over my ginormous forehead. And then go under my chin because my face is fairly long. I'm just gonna go into the other side of my face. Now that I've contoured um, the outside of my face, I'm going to contour my nose and I go in with the same eyeshadow and use a blending brush. brush. Oops. This is um, Sephora's Pro Crease Brush in the number 10. And how I do this is I begin with the, right under my brow where my bridge, the bridge of my nose right here meets. And I bring those two closer together. They meet, but not so much. Let me know if me talking um, during my videos is distracting because I'd much rather like to um, fast forward my videos and do while and do the videos while I'm audio speaking. But if you think this helps, then just let me know. And then you want to bring it down towards your nostril in a straight line. Not too harsh lines, you want to also build it into your crease. So my foundation, my contour is done, everything is... Next is highlight. I like to go in with a MAC um, tan eyeshadow. It looks white, but it's actually tan. And go in with my Pro Contour Brush in 74 by Sephora. Okay, next I go in with my Shimmer Highlight, which is um, the Starlight Mineral um, Illuminating Powder by um, Laura Mercier. And I, on the same brush, just tap it out and go in. Okay, that's a bit much. So, just to warm up my face a bit, because my contour was a very, um, brown grayish color. I go in with my Guerlain Terracotta Four Seasons bronzer and I just warm up my face with the brush I just got from Walmart. It's just an angled brush. So 
So my favorite blush that I've been using a lot is Max Gingerly, right here. I love it. So I go in with the same bonding brush and just warm up my cheeks. Okay, so um, this is my highlight and contour, and I'm just gonna do the rest of my face so I don't look so scary, and I'll be back. Hey guys, okay, so this is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just did a quick smoky eye, and I threw on Soar by MAC Lip Liner and Matte Lip Me um, Lip Cream from Sleek. I will put all the information down below so you have nothing to worry about. And um, I don't haven't been posting a lot of videos, and I'm really, really sorry. A lot of crazy things have been happening. Big things have been happening in my life, inshallah, and I will share it with you guys. In my next video but um yeah so that has happened and I've just been so caught up with school and everything also um, I wanted to ask <laughs> but if there's any requests or um, comments or anything like that that you guys want to share just uh, leave it down below and inshallah I will get back to them as soon as I can thanks guys thanks for watching bye